In this video, we will be evaluating trigonometric ratios for special angles, and these special angles are the 30 degree angle, the 45 degree angle, and the 60 degree angle. So these special angles come from our special triangles. If we have an equilateral triangle with side length 2, so that means each side is 2, but that also means that each angle is actually 60 degrees. And if we split this triangle directly down the middle, getting two right triangles, this is our special triangle. So we have our side length of 2, which is actually the hypotenuse of this right triangle. And this side on the bottom, if we split 2 in half, it's just 1. We already knew that this angle on the bottom was 60 degrees. We created this 90 degree angle by splitting our triangle in half. And this angle at the top is just half of 60 degrees, which is just 30 degrees. So this is known as our 30, 60, 90 triangle, but we're missing one side length over here. Since it is a right angle triangle, we can use Pythagorean theorem to find that side length. So we would just have two squared equals one squared plus, let's call this side length B. And that would just be four equals to 1 plus b squared. Now you're going to bring that 1 over to the other side, so this is just 3 equals b squared. And let's get rid of that square to find b, so we're square rooting it. So b is just equal to the square root of 3, and we're going to keep it that way so that it's an exact form. So that means this side length is the square root of 3. So this is our 30, 60, 90 triangle. And let's set up our trig ratios for these particular angles, 30 degrees and 60 degrees. So the sine of 30 degrees, well, the sine of 30 degrees, that would just be opposite over hypotenuse. So this is going to be equal to 1 over 2. And the cosine of 30 degrees, well, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that is just equal to square root of 3 over 2. And now let's do the 60 degree angle. So the sine of 60 degree angle, again, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So that's just the square root of 3 over 2. And cosine of 60 degrees, so that's adjacent over hypotenuse. And that is equal to 1 over 2. So these are just our sine and cosine ratios for the 30 degree angle and the 60 degree angle. And now let's look at our second special triangle. So we're going to start with a square with a side length of 1. So that means all four sides are equal to one unit. And now let's split this triangle in half diagonally to create two right triangles. So we have our right angle here in the corner, and we have these two angles here. Well, if we just take 90 degrees and split that in half, we're going to get 45 degrees. So that means both of these angles are 45 degrees. And this is actually our 45, 45, 90 triangle. So we know that these two sides here are one unit from the square that we had that we cut in half. And we can use Pythagorean theorem to find out what the measurement of the hypotenuse is. So that's just 1 squared plus 1 squared equals c squared. And that would mean this is 2 equals to c squared, and we can just square root that to get c on its own. So c, our hypotenuse, is equal to the square root of 2. And we're going to keep it that way because that's the exact answer. We don't want this as a decimal. Now let's set up our sine and cosine ratios. So we only have this 45 degree angle, and it's an isosceles triangle, so whichever angle you choose to be your reference you will get the same sine and cosine ratios. So the sine of 45, well that's just opposite over hypotenuse, and that's just going to be one over the square root of two. And the cosine ratio, cosine of 45 degrees, is going to be our adjacent over our hypotenuse, and that's also just one over the square root of two. Now I know we have a radical in the denominator. You can rationalize this, but I'm going to choose not to at this point because let's just focus on setting up our sine and cosine ratios and then rationalize when we are doing our practice problems. Let's set up our trig ratios for these special angles. 
And these are our special triangles that we were just working on. We know the sine of 30 degrees is 1 over 2, and the cosine of 30 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2. So what's the tan of 30 degrees? Well, we know that tan is equal to opposite over adjacent, so this is just going to be 1 over root 3. But there is something else you should know about tan. So sine, we know that's equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine, we know that's equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Tan is actually equal to sine over cosine. And this is because if we did our sine ratio, so opposite over hypotenuse, divide that by our cosine ratio adjacent over hypotenuse, when we divide fractions, we need to take the second fraction and flip it, so we're multiplying by the reciprocal. So this is really just opposite over hypotenuse times hypotenuse over adjacent. And these two hypotenuses, they cancel out. So we're just left with opposite over adjacent. So we know that tan theta is already equal to opposite over adjacent, but another way to think of it is that it's equal to our sine over our cosine. So back to writing out these trig ratios, the sine of 45 degrees, well that's just equal to 1 over root 2. And the cosine of 45 degrees is also 1 over root 2. And the tan of 45 degrees, well that's sine theta over cosine theta, so that's just going to be 1 over root 2 divided by 1 over root 2, and that's just equal to 1. And our 60 degree angle, so our sine of 60 degrees is just equal to root 3 over 2. And our cosine of 60 degrees is 1 over 2. And our tan of 60 degrees, we can do sine over our cosine. And that's just going to be root 3 over 1. Now let's do our secondary trig ratios, otherwise known as our reciprocal trig ratios, for our special triangles. So cosecant theta is just the reciprocal of sine theta, so we can take all of our sine ratios and flip them. So the cosecant of 30 degrees is just 2 over 1, or just 2. The cosecant of 45 degrees is just the square root of 2 over 1. And the cosecant ratio of 60 degrees is 2 over square root of 3. Now the secant ratio is just the reciprocal of the cosine ratio. So the secant of 30 degrees is 2 over square root of 3. And the secant of 45 degrees is just root 2 over 1, or just root 2. And the secant of 60 degrees is 2 over 1, or just 2. And lastly, our cotangent ratio is the reciprocal of our tangent ratio. So the cotangent ratio of 30 degrees is just the square root of 3 over 1. And the cotangent ratio of 45 degrees is just 1. And cotangent ratio of 60 degrees is 1 over the square root of 3. So these are our primary and secondary trig ratios for our special angles that you will need to be familiar with. I wouldn't recommend just memorizing these, but become very familiar, even memorize these two special triangles, our 30-60-90 triangle and our 45-45-90 triangle. Now let's work on some of our practice problems. We need to determine the exact value for this trigonometric expression, and these are just our special angles. And we know our exact value for these ratios. So the sine of 45, well, that's just equal to 1 over the square root of 2. And this cosine of 45 degrees, that's also equal to 1 over the square root of 2. The sine of 30 degrees, that's just 1 over 2. And the sine of 60 degrees, that's actually just square root of 3 over 2. So you need to be comfortable with multiplying fractions. And remember, you just multiply the numerators together and multiply the denominators together. So 1 times 1 is just 1. 
and root 2 times root 2 is just 2. And then 1 times root 3 is just going to be root 3. 2 times 2 is just 4. And when we're adding fractions, we need the same denominator. So we need to multiply our first fraction by 2, both numerator and denominator. That way we're just going to get 2 over 4 plus root 3 over 4. Now we have the same denominators, so now we can actually add. So this is actually just equal to 2 plus the square root of 3 over 4. We can no longer simplify that, and so we're done. Here's the next question, and if you want, you can just pause the video here and try them on your own. Otherwise, continue watching. So always start off by filling in the values of these ratios. So we're going to keep that 1 there. And the cosine of 45 degrees, well, that's just 1 over root 2. And sine of 30 degrees, that is 1 over 2. And the sine of 45 degrees, that's 1 over root 2. Now we can start getting rid of the brackets and solving wherever we can. So we have 1 minus 1 over root 2. So this is a fraction, and we need the same denominator here. So 1 is just the same thing as 1 over 1. And to get root 2 in our denominator, we just need to multiply this fraction both numerator and denominator, by root 2. So when we do that, we're just going to get root 2 over root 2 minus 1 over root 2. And we're going to keep that 1 over 2 the same here. And we can actually multiply this right now. So negative 2 times 1 over root 2 that's just going to be minus 2 over root 2. Now let's do our multiplication in our first bracket, or our subtraction in our first bracket. So root 2 minus 1, well that's just going to stay as root 2 minus 1, and that's all over root 2. And that's being multiplied by 1 over 2, and we're still keeping the minus 2 over root 2 at the end. So now we got to get rid of these brackets. We need to do that multiplication. And remember, we're just multiplying the numerators together and multiplying the denominators together. So this just becomes root 2 minus 1 because we're just multiplying it by 1. So it actually stays the same. And 2 times root 2 is just 2 root 2. And we're subtracting 2 over root 2. So again, since we're subtracting, we have fractions here. We need the same denominator. So in our first fraction, we have 2 root 2. In our second fraction, we just have that root 2. So we need to multiply that second fraction by 2 so that we have a common denominator. So this is just going to become root 2 minus 1 over 2 root 2 minus 4 over 2 root 2. So now we have a common denominator and we can actually do that subtraction. So when we're subtracting here, what happens? Well, our root 2 stays the same because we're not subtracting 4 from root 2, but we can do this minus 1 minus 4. So this will actually become root 2 minus 5, and that's just over 2 root 2. And we're left with a radical in the denominator, so let's actually rationalize this and get rid of the radical, because you've already learned that. So to get rid of that radical, you can multiply by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2, and we're going to get 2 minus 5 root 2 in the numerator, and 2 times 2 in the denominator. And this is just equal to 2 minus 5 root 2 over 4. And that's it, we're done. 
And here's our next question. So we need to start by filling in all of these ratios with the exact values. So the cotangent of 45 degrees is equal to one. The cosecant of 45 degrees is root two. The secant of 30 degrees is two over root three. And the cosecant of 60 degrees is two over root three. And let's do our multiplication. So one times root two is just root two. And two times two is four over root three times root three is just three. So we need to add these and let's just turn root two into a fraction. So let's just root two over one and we need to get the same denominator. So we need to multiply this by three. So when we multiply that by three, we just get three root two over three plus four over three. Now we have the same denominator, so we can do that addition. And this is actually just equal to three root two plus four. We can't simplify that any further. And our denominator is three and we're done. And that's the exact value of this trigonometric expression. We're gonna keep our answers like that. We don't wanna put that in the calculator and get a decimal because we want our final answers to remain exact.